We're here on campus of Kapilani Community College, and we're here to do another episode of Tech Spotting. And I'm Bert Lum. I'm Ryan Ozal. And today we're going to talk about Square. Now, Bert, this is a big revolutionary thing that's transforming the payments processing industry. What is this big thing called Square? Well, this big thing called Square is this thing right here. Now, what is really kind of cool about this guy is that it connects to your iPhone or iPad. For sure. And I believe Android devices as well. Now, what exactly does this thing do? Well, it's a card reader, which is certainly nothing new. You'll, you've seen them for years. Your restaurants have it. Your gas stations have it. But what, what Square has done is given it to you at a very affordable level. Bert, how much would you pay for a device that replaces a $300 card reading device at a restaurant? Well, you know, for this, I would pay 20 bucks. 20 bucks? That's reasonable. How's free? I would pay free for that. Yes. So Square is free. Now, of course, that's because they want to make their money off your transactions. Now, if you've used PayPal or any other service to exchange money among friends, you know that that's how it happens. eBay takes a cut, etc. Their cut is generally, I think it's 15, per, uh, 15 cents per transaction mm -hmm. and 2.5%. Now, if you are a big retailer and you do a lot of business, that is a high percentage. But if you're a guy who sells your out artwork or mows lawns, well, okay. that's so affordable. Like, you know, if I'm doing a little unconference or I want to sell some t-shirts out of the back of my car, I can have somebody just give me their credit card. We just swipe it through this guy right here, like so. Boom. And you're Put done. In an amount and yeah. Well, the best part of it is it also asks for your signature on the screen, which seems, which is kind of the cool part. We mm -hmm. used it on an iPad for a craft fair, and my friend Valentino and I doing Kukui High School t-shirt sales, people were coming to buy shirts just to try the, the, the app. And when you have the larger screen on the iPad, you can have your inventory. So I'll click two bumper stickers, two t-shirts, and, a, and, a, and another sticker. You know, And it just adds it all up. You can program in the sales tax, swipe the card, they sign the screen, and they go off and tell their friends, hey, you got to check this out. Wow. Well, there was a lot of big news this week coming out of Square, though. They introduced something called Square Register. Right. I saw that on your uh, tweet announcement. And what exactly is Square Register? Well, one thing that we realized doing craft fairs is that it wasn't just revolutionary for us, but it was revolutionary. It could revolutionize any business, mm -hmm. and that's their first step into it. Why pay several thousand dollars for a big Casio or NEC cash register when you can just mount an iPad at the front of your store and do the same thing that we were doing? So they want to move into that space with Square Register. The other side of the initiative is you as a Square user would have an app, and when you walk into a store that's powered by Square and has the Square logo on it, you could actually click it because you're in the store. It'll know you're in the store and say, start a tab. So now you have your own sort of payment system without even requiring a card, and you can start going around and buying things and then authenticate at the register with your No, No, let me ask you something. Um, I can see where having this in a store would be applicable, but what is the threshold for the amount of traffic versus whether or not they need a dedicated system or something like this? I mean, I, I can't imagine this really working in a restaurant, per se. Well, some restaurants are deploying, and of course, the Square founders want this to basically disrupt the entire payment space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you're, you're right that at a certain level of volume, like when we were just doing a very busy craft fair, we needed two iPads going, and we still didn't feel we could keep up. Mm -hmm. Would that have been faster with a beep, beep, beep cash register with a drawer in it? I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but I can see that that might be a challenge. But we did five figures of business in a weekend, and that five business figures. we wouldn't have had without the Square app. Wow, that's good. Now, there are some downsides to it. One that we found is that that because you're just getting started as a business and they're going and they're they're taking you know a risk on you as much as you are on them that you if you if you just happen to sell your Toyota using a square and, and sold it for five thousand dollars <laughs> they're not going to transfer all of that money at once I oh, think I for us at least they've given they would give us a thousand bucks every couple of weeks mm -hmm. they would space it out sort of like having a I don't know what that's called a hold on your account mm -hmm. or the same way a bank would do with a new with a new account so typically when somebody pays you for something that money goes directly into your account that you've already designated on uh, on Square right you would sort of uh, authenticate it with your e uh, EFT account mm -hmm. your your checking account mm -hmm. or any or account that you you run that way I would imagine that with the new system you're going to tie your end as a consumer to a credit card account so mm -hmm. you can just use your iPhone rather than actually handing someone a card so 
Now, in terms of uh, this announcement and the, uh, the fact that you can get these units for free, I mean, is there a big push now, right now, for people to start you know, signing up for this? Yeah, absolutely. It's very big already for, among photographers here in Hawaii, you see it quite a bit. You're doing a photo shoot, you charge five, six, seven hundred dollars you can just do it walking off the beach. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't have to send them an invoice, they'll just say, could you take out your credit card and pay Now, right I'm going to ask you a really tough question. I mean, this is called Square. Now, where would people go to find this Square device? Well, you can get one for free at squareup.com and they'll just ship it off to you. And Square they were, Up. Yep, and they're sending them out by the millions, obviously. Um, I'm a big fan, not a paid endorser. You got a shirt. Yes, because we did a great deal of business with oh, them and okay. we evangelized them. I think that at the craft fair, we, we sent as many customers to Square as we did selling t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So they actually sent me a box and if you happen to run into me at a tech event, I'll be happy to give you a Square. But you can even get them at the Apple store. Now get this. If you buy it at the Apple store, how much do you think it costs? 25 bucks. No, it only costs $10. Oh. Now, before you freak out, when you buy the $10 device at Square, I mean at the Apple store, you get $10 in credit on your Square account. So it is free, uh, and they're just sort of seeding you with a bit of fun. So actually, so they don't even have to wait for the delivery uh, from Square. They can just go to the Apple store and pick it up there. That's right. Wow, sweet. Okay, so. That's Square. Square. Squareup.com. Mm -hmm. Check it out. And uh, start... Uh, Getting all those payments. You know, that's right, Bert. I owe you money for lunch the other day. Well, you know, so we'll take care of that. that. We can take care of that. <laughs> okay, right. thanks. Take care, guys. See you guys.